Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. Today, we are going to talk to Steven Taylor. We're going to talk about makeup air as well as combustion air. Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware, and this is Steven Taylor. And today, Steven, I'd like to talk a little bit about, we can hear these burners, the burners on, so yep. it's a little bit loud in here which is awesome in a boiler room. Love to be in a boiler room with all the noise and everything, of course. Yep. But I wanted to talk about uh, air, right? And air is a, uh, definitely a, a, a very important part of combustion. And air and fuel. Air and fuel. And so in a boiler room, you actually have air that is being sucked in for the burner, but in a boiler room, you gotta have some way to get air in. So maybe talk a little bit about what makeup air is and combustion. Yeah, we, we run into issues all the time when we upgrade at somebody's burner and then look at the boiler room and there's no combustion air louvers. They've been sucking it in through the plant. You pull the door open and it tries to yank the door out of your hand. You know, there's a negative pressure inside the boiler room so you need to put louvers in. So we put, oh, every time we do an upgrade, we size the makeup air louvers based on the, the combustion air that the burner's gonna need. So right. there's, there's codes and guidelines for doing that. It's, you know, a square foot per million BTU input or something like that. So we, we, we have all, all that done. And sometimes they're, they're louvered vents and sometimes they're fixed louvers. They're not modulating louvers, right. they're fixed. So right. It, you right. Both, right. both of them. In this particular boiler room, it is a modulating louver. And because we could have four boilers on at a time here, and that will modulate based on that, correct? It, it does that. And then the other thing, if you notice, we also have um, exhaust fans in here to try to keep this thing cool where you can have class and, right. and talk to people. So you have to size the louvers for exhaust fans and the combustion air. Right, right, so we've right. We've got right. both. And, and then the way we set these up, most of them are set up that way. The the louvers for the, for the boiler, they don't open up until the boiler kicks on. It calls for heat, then the louvers open up then the blower kicks on, so we got fresh air coming anytime the blower's running. Right, okay, so makeup air. Um, real quick with makeup air, what if makeup air is, you know, it's pulling out cold, cold air from outside, you know, is there any it issues It will change with that? the combustion if you have this, the intake vented, you know, ducted to the outside. Right. In here, we temper that because in most boiler rooms do, you're pulling it in, and then the air in the boiler room will heat that, right. preheat that air, so that the combustion will stay pretty much even all the time. Yeah. But like say, if, if on a rental boiler, it's sitting outside, so that combustion will change even during the night. If it's 80 degrees during the day and 45 at night, that combustion will change. So you gotta be careful how tight you tighten up, or you gotta put a, an EGA, an exhaust gas analyzer on there to trim that O2 to keep that, keep that combustion right. Otherwise, it's gonna get out on you. Well, one of the things, too, that affects that oxygen is, is altitude, correct? Absolutely. And, that, and so you yeah. could have different uh, you know, needs for air based on the altitude, yeah. correct? Our standard burner is, is designed for 1,000 feet, okay? So anytime you get above 1,000 feet, that air gets thinner. The blower will, will pull more, less air. So you have to take that into account. If you don't, if you get up to 4,000 uh, feet of elevation, 100 horsepower blower, you're not gonna get 100 horsepower out of it. It's right. gonna be some, something left, less of that. And there's a, a calculation for what that is. Uh -huh. So if you're gonna put a boiler in Denver, you better let the burner manufacturer know, hey, this thing is 4,500, 5,500 feet elevation, whatever it is. Right. So if they'll size that blower <clears throat> and, and blower motor for that, that elevation, you won't get capacity out of it. Yeah. So for those that are in the areas of elevation they need to make yeah. sure that they're talking with their burner manufacturer about that absolutely it could be in new mexico it doesn't matter where it's at if you're above a thousand feet you need to make sure you check with your burner manufacturer to have them size that for the end location okay that's good that's great information well, let's move to combustion air yeah what is combustion air combustion air that's the air the burner is sucking in to mix with the fuel in order to get it get that that, that gas won't light without oxygen so uh, the combustion air has oxygen in there that's mixed in. I mean, this one, you, you tell it's not real loud because it's got a variable speed drive on there. Okay. That makes this burner, the lid field, it's, it's pretty common for them. Really high efficiency burner, and, and that works real well for them. But you've got to have that combustion air, all that size by the burner manufacturer. This is a pre mixed burner. 
so it has a little higher pressure drop across across the burner head in order to get that pre-mix and get that high fixity on the burner but you have to have that combustion air and it's got to be sized by the burner manufacturer blower wheel size book form the, the blow, blower duct inland and outland duct it's all sized by the burner manufacturer to get it right if you look at the air duct the inlet duct is a whole lot bigger than the outlet duct right this is the blower sucking on this one, pushing on that one, so that's got pressure on it, just does it. So right. <laughs> they, they have to be sized by the burner manufacturer or you're gonna have problems. Are there um, <laughs> burners basically for for the fan that it's just on off? Where it just there are. There there are modulating, um, there are variable speed drives, and there's on off. It comes on, it runs. And when it when it when it uh, you know when the heat is it, it, satisfied and you shut itself off, yeah. there's no modulation, no nothing. You your air is fixed, and and, and that's all. That's, we call it a set fire, right? It, it's a, the firing rate is set when you do the combustion setup, and that, that's all you've got, right? And it, as far as how the burners are designed, um, they actually will bring air in, and then What's that? How about certain burners might take more air than others, correct? I mean, like you get, not, every burner is not gonna be the same fan, in other words. No, it's not gonna be. Again, it, it's based on the pressure drop and the lymph field is designed for low O2. Uh, so it these doesn't need the volume of air that a standard burner would need. We're gonna have, if you have a high, high excess air burner, it, it just takes more volume of air to get that oxygen in there. Because, right, you know, the air got a certain amount of oxygen in all of it, so you, you've gotta have higher, higher volume of air to get that oxygen in there on a, uh, standard burner than what you do on the lens field. Okay. All right. Well, good stuff. Air is so very important in the combustion process, obviously. Uh, makeup air as well as that combustion air. So, again, very, very important. Make sure your boiler room has plenty of air that's able to come in and it's not sucking doors closed exactly. and, or blowing them out, whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. well, we'll see you next time on the Boiler Point.